We got 49-year-old Micah Araneta, who is now charged with attempted murder in the second degree and for the possession of a firearm. He is accused of shooting another man early Friday morning near Maili Beach Park. Police say that the 41-year-old victim was in a tent when Araneta approached and shot him several times. At last check, the victim was hospitalized in serious condition. The two are believed to have known each other. Araneta's bail is set at $2 million. A man has died after an early morning crash in Waipahu. HPD says around 3.45 a.m. on Saturday, a car speeding on Leokane Street lost control and hit a wooden utility pole. The passenger in the car was a 20-year-old man. He was taken to the hospital and later died from his injuries. The driver, also 20, sustained minor injuries and was arrested for driving under the influence and for negligent homicide. HGD says while speed and alcohol appear to be factors in the crash, it's unclear if drugs were also involved. The investigation is ongoing. On Hawaii Island, we are getting our first look at the car that crashed into the living room of a Hilo home in an incident that landed a seven-year-old boy in the hospital. Now, this crash happened Thursday night on Kalmana Drive. Police say the driver, 71-year-old Wayne Okutsu, was leaving the residence when he unintentionally drove through and hit the child. We're told the boy suffered substantial injuries and is now in stable condition. Okutsu was arrested for first-degree negligent injury. Controversy and concern. They are brewing over whether the Olawalu landfill is, in fact, temporary. Residents who live nearby have growing concerns about where that refuse will go from here, if anywhere at all. That's in a recent investigative story by our partners at Civil Beat. There is enough debris in question to cover five football fields, five stories high. That's how much is there. It includes soil contaminated with lead and arsenic. You can read the entire article on civilbeat.org. By the afternoons, we'll get some uh, possible clouds and maybe a few sprinkles at that. So once again, uh, this is the forecast for um, Oahu through Maui, uh, through Hawaii Island. And then as we get towards Thursday, the trade winds return and the trade winds will stay with us all the way through the end of the week. Now, the only ones we haven't talked about is Kauai. You've got a different weather pattern happening. What you'll see is uh, you'll see a, a front approaching. We'll get some light to moderate rainfall. That's going to be today through Wednesday, but the winds are going to be calm so some of that rain may just stick around for a little while but once again it's calling for light to moderate rainfall for the island of Kauai. That's what you can expect in the forecast today. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs bringing our heart to every moment of your health.